Hello, this is one of the episodes that I pre-recorded for my maternity leave. So this was recorded around November end of 2023. Love you. <laughs> okay um hello everybody welcome back to circle time how are we doing i hope you're doing great um whenever you're listening to this i have a very special guest joining the circle rejoining the circle actually hell yeah baby <laughs> i don't know if you recognize that voice but would you would you like to tell the circlers who you are again Hey, circlers. 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 <laughs> hey, circlers. It's your girl, TK. I'm back with Kelsey. Taylor King is back in the circle, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to be back because I just love you and I love your podcast. I love you so much. And I really like when I was thinking about people that I wanted to have on for my maternity leave. I, You were one of the people I thought of because I was like, it was. it's just fun. <laughs> and it's easy. And the circlers love you and I love you. Well, I'm honored because as a podcaster myself, when I'm trying to, you know, batch people for my maternity leave. Yes. I think of other podcasters like I actually for realsies love and like. And I was honored when you reached out because I was like, dang, like, I feel like Kelsey actually likes me. I do actually like you. And I actually like you. Thank God. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried for a second. (laughs) I wasn't, but like, you know. When I talk to you, I feel like I'm actually catching up. I'm having Same. a good time. I actually enjoy talking to you. I do feel, though, like I am not very good at faking when I don't like someone. Okay. Like, if I didn't like you, you would be able to tell. Really? I'm really not good at pretending. Okay. I feel like I kind of can be good at pretending. If I have sometimes. to be, like, if I'm in a situation where I really have to be, like, it's like a, a friend's like boyfriend or like I'm like or like I don't even know like it's like if it's it's like a situation where I don't have another mm-hmm. choice I mm-hmm. can be nice I'm not mean you're just, I just not overly I'm not, yourself I don't know how to like I, I actually it's like a problem because I think I should work on it should we cosplay like a situation right now yeah <laughs> yes no like it's like so there are just some people where I'm like I do not like you there and I have specific reason like it's not coming out of the blue yeah I'm around them and like I can't even like like I'm like I'm going to be mean to you if if I try to interact with you. So therefore, I'm going to kind of just like not even look at you. So are you quiet? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. I would say I'm a little bit colder. Because you're to me, you're warm and fuzzy. Because I really do like you. I'm I'm warm and fuzzy to most people. Okay. But if someone does something to like piss me off. I would love to know who you're thinking of right now because I just can't imagine you not liking (sighs) someone. Well, they know who they are. The circlers know. <laughs> <laughs> the circlers have no idea. The one person, if they're listening, she's like, oh, shit, it's me. I'm just kidding. She's not listening. but, And I'm going to stop talking about it now. <laughs> so <The> circlers. <laughs> <laughs> because I really am like pretty, I would say generally warm and fuzzy. But I that is, For sure. I couldn't like fake liking you. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like I guess if I'm not overly warm and fuzzy, because that's like my natural... Right. Presence. If right. I'm not overly warm and fuzzy, I I'm not a big fan. Right. Because I normally am. Yeah, I would say you're such a warm and fuzzy person. Thank you. And I and I love that about you. <laughs> warm and fuzzy, baby. We're both warm and fuzzy girls. Mm-hmm. So if we're not, something's off. That's true. It's very. If, I, true. if I'm quiet, I'm never quiet. I don't shut the fuck up. Am I allowed to cuss? Yes. Sorry, circlers. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. She said, but um, yeah, I'm never quiet. So yeah. if I am either something's like seriously going on in my life or I just don't, I'm not a big fan. Right. Right. Okay. Well, what has been going on? It's been like over a year since I've seen you. Mm-hmm. We were just talking about dating. We were talking about dating. So I walked in. Yes. Sat down on this couch yep. on the circlers couch. Yep. And Kelsey proceeds to tell me. I told her that she looked like a wag. And I gasped. And, and, and I said, mean Thank it, you. yes, because I mean it with like the utmost respect, adoration, 
<laughs> and love. And it was like the highest form of compliment that I could think of. Like, and I so appreciate that. You look, you know what I actually also think is like playing into the wag of it what? all? Is that you're kind of wearing like Rams colors. You know what? This is a great Rams shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you have like the kind of like goldish brown sweater. Like you kind you're of. You're so right. Like you look like you're going to like your chic game day. Thank look you. Look is happening. Thank you. You know what? I was channeling my inner Kristen Harper when I was putting on my new balances. Yes. As we all are trying to do every single day. Yeah. I mean, are we all trying to be Kristen now? Yes. Harper at the end of the day. Right. Mm-hmm. And she couldn't more. be nicer and it pisses me off. She's She was on. She was a guest on Circle Time. She's a circler. She, she's amazing. Mm-hmm. She is so like kind and, and funny hot. and Great and then super hot as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's crazy. I'm like, you, the, God has favorites. Yeah, it's true. Uh-huh. But you know what? She, it's like well deserved. Totally. I'm like, you're so. It, she's so awesome. Yeah, I'm obsessed with her. Me too. And you, you are, you are her. Well, she just inspired now. me with the New Balances, but and also, the wag of it all. Thank yeah, the wag of it all exactly. But I was like, maybe the Skims too, because now. Sk- Skims is a big sponsor for the NBA. For the NBA, yes. So now what what kind of athlete would you see me dating? That's a really good question. I I was thinking I mean, you're da- you're married to a triathlete. I am married to a triathlete. An Iron Man. Yes. Am I a wag? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Wait a damn Wait minute. Wait a second. I think you're a wag. You're an Iron Man wag. Oh my god, that's that's like, those are the elite. That's the waggiest <laughs> of the wags. <laughs> Those are like the nerdiest wags, probably. Are you like um, showing up with like knee high boots to like the Iron wait, Man? Wait, I should be. <laughs> you should be serving looks. When I was at the Iron Man, I was, I just found out I was pregnant like maybe, actually, I found out I was pregnant probably a week before, the day before we got on the plane to go to Australia. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I was jet lagged and I was like, freshly pregnant and like that's like right when I started kind of feeling pretty terrible oh no so I wouldn't say like the Iron Man was like my hottest day of of you the weren't year. wearing the knee I wasn't boots. wearing my knee high <laughs> boots I didn't definitely didn't have any makeup on like I was I was struggling mm-hmm. I would say pretty hard probably not harder than Cody just want to clear the air on that one I was not I kept like trying to complain and then I was like I can't complain he's literally like on mile 23 yeah no yeah. he's doing yeah um but I I was struggling, so I wasn't my hottest wag self then. But next Iron Man, I'm really gonna like show up and can show I please out. come help and style you or something? Yes, yes. <laughs> you need a you should make TikToks like being a wag. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would, life no, a wag. I would get canceled. No, it would be hilarious. It would, but it would be funny to us. But you know, like someone out there would be like, "You're what? not a fucking wag." <laughs> Get out of here, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think you need to make day in the life of a wag. Of a wag? Yeah. Oh, my God. On, like, Iron Man days. Yeah. Or, like, marathon days. Yes. What are the... Cody trains people called his fans choochies the choochies I'm kind of a choochie no I know I actually wanted to talk to you about this a little bit no like I feel bad because I didn't know the choochie name but I I know choo choo yes and I and I I am also not sure how often he says choochies I <laughs> oh, coined mean? them choochies because <laughs> okay. I think it's like the cutest thing ever also well did you see cheetah girls did you ever watch yeah. cheetah girls yeah I didn't someone in cheetah <laughs> girls like have the nickname choochie Perhaps. Honestly, I don't remember. I think that's like what I think of. Choo-choo. It's like a tor- it's like a term of endearment. Mm-hmm. In my mind, at least. And so when he was saying choo-choo. You were like, they're the choo-choos. They're choo-chis. the choo obviously. <laughs> um, and I'm happy that you're a choo No, I really am. I know. And I mm-hmm. I love that. When did you get into when did you get into it? When I, when did I become a choo Yeah. Well, this is what's funny is that I have never really watched Cody's main channel. Okay. I've obviously seen the girl defined. The greatest hits. Yeah. I've seen the greatest hits. Right. Obviously know of him, know you. Like I I know him. We know each other. And I've seen him in passing. This is the thing though. This is the thing with like me and Cody is I see him in passing and I'm like, hey, but like I don't really want to get to know him more because I like being a choochie. Oh, my God. Have you guys ever spoken? Like, just kind of like, hey, how are you? Okay. A little hug. Okay. Maybe a little tap on the... <laughs> like, like, it's nothing. Right, right, right. Like, where he's like, TK, how's it been? Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And you know what? I I actually prefer that because okay. I like where I'm at with you. Right. And like, I like being a choo Because yeah. it's not as fun when you, like, know the person well and then you're, like, also watching their stuff. Yeah, it does get a little tricky. 
I don't know where I found Cody Trains, but yeah. I'm not kidding you. Like, I watch almost every, like, that's the one channel that stays consistent for me. That makes me so happy. And I, I don't know why. Like, maybe I was, like, seeing this guy, though, who was an aspiring Iron Man guy. Okay. And I kept saying, like, you've got to watch Cody Trains. And he, yeah. like, wouldn't believe me. It, it is inspiring. No, it is. How did you feel when you were dating kind of, like, an aspiring Iron Man what was that like for you? Well, I just felt wildly unhealthy yeah. compared to him. Okay. Like his life was like, he would wake up and just wildly lazy. And I feel like I'm not lazy. Yes. But he would wake up and do like <laughs> crazy workouts. Right. Like for the entire day. Yeah. And like his whole life was like buying shit to, you know. Gear. Yes, gear, supplements. Yes. um, Things to recover. Right. And I was like, well, I just got this Dior lip oil. Right. Right. Which is honestly amazing, by the way. Mm-hmm. Good for Th- you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I couldn't Kelsey. relate more because that's my life. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I went to have 45, so. You, but you run. I, I think that's the other reason. I like secretly want to run a marathon. So that's why I'm a choo kind of. I think you can. Thank you. Because you go on big runs. And I know you do. You do. Marsh and I were just talking right before you got here about how we simply just cannot run. Like the most genuinely, this is not a joke, the most I've ever run from start to finish is a mile. I have never done anything Wait, more. but you were doing couch to 5K. Yeah. And the minute it was time to start running, I actually stopped. I actually stopped doing couch to 5K. See, this is why we're going to hot girl walk though. I know. I can't get very far right now. Yeah. But once the baby, I tried to go on a little hot girl walk by myself or with Cody the other day. And it was like, oh, no. And I, I realized I was holding on to his arm, like just like as yeah. support. Like it, it just everything takes a little longer okay. at this exact moment. I like failed couch to 5K the minute it was time. Well, maybe we can redo it. I, I actually would like to. I think I'll I've, do it with I've started to get the itch, the running itch mm-hmm. again, which is how I started couch to 5K to begin with. Mm-hmm. But it's just like how. So when you're running, what's the farthest you've ever run? Not that far. Far. I just told you my furthest is a mile. So you could literally tell me two Seriously, miles not, and I would be impressed. Not that far. Probably without stopping like six, seven miles. That's amazing. The thing is, though, is like the fact that people run 26.2 is fucking mind boggling yeah, to me. Yeah. And I something about me kind of wants to do it, which is I'm like sick in the head for No, that. I think that you should. I think that that's I think it's all it takes is that like desire to want to <laughs> to start. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Listen, I can't run, but I n- now am surrounded by runners. Well, what's it like for you because I feel like his life is probably a lot surrounded around Iron Man shit and yeah. you probably learn a lot. I I being do it. I do know more about like running and like um like gels like like stuff yeah, the like goo. the goo also, and stuff. every person I follow on TikTok like I'm obsessed with like runners on TikTok. So that's kind of how I found Cody Trains too because Interesting. there's this one girl named Lydia. She's like the fruit gang girl. And I anyway, she's a runner. I like following her. Okay. I have always loved Casey Neistat's running yes, content. Yes, yes, yes. It's um, fun to watch. Yeah. There's another girl in New York. I, I want to say her name's Kate or something. She's like, I love the runner girls. Yeah. But I think it's because I like have a small inkling of me that's like wants to be that. But I think that you could. Because like for me, like that's where I struggle is like getting like that like urge to do You don't do care it. to? I I have a lot of self doubt when it comes to running, but you're a Pilates princess. I do love Pilates, mm-hmm. and I appreciate you calling me a Pilates princess just now. You are. You look I like would one. Say, Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I did. You are a Pilates princess. Thank you. Um, it's one thing I've ever enjoyed. One workout I've ever enjoyed, and like. So I'm not going to stop doing it. Yeah. Because it's obviously hard for me to find a workout that I mm-hmm. enjoy. But I would like to dip my toe into the running pool again. Has Cody ever done Pilates with you? He has. What do you think? He loved it. He was like, it was very hard. He That's was so like, weird he didn't film it for the Cody It trains. is a little weird. I think he's talked about it. Maybe. He's I definitely don't know. talked about it somewhere. Maybe it was on like my vlog or it's something. It's hard. It is so hard. And I think he... Didn't, obviously just like didn't know what to expect. Like He wasn't like, this is going to be easy. But like he didn't, 
he didn't know what to expect. I will say, like, he he can, like, respect any kind of workout. Like, mm-hmm. he's never going to be, like, that's for girls or, like, it, like, his family is just, like, I think, like, working out and exercising is so important to them. That, so like, active. Yeah, that, like, no form of exercise is, like, wrong. Mm-hmm. So he was, like, always down. But then when he actually came with me, he was, like, surprised with like how much it kind of felt like lifting weights yeah. and stuff in a sense so and it was just fun because like I knew what I was doing and he like didn't like she was like yeah. grab that like put that spring on and I was like oh you'll get the hang of it buddy like I you know was finally yeah you were the, in control. the top dog mm-hmm. when like if we were to like run together he would be like dragging me <laughs> along the sidewalk you know yeah so he likes Pilates are you a reformer girl yeah. Okay. I'm a, I am too. I love the reformer. Mm-hmm. And I just, it just works for me. Mm-hmm. That makes sense because you were a dancer. Yeah. I feel like a lot of dancers like Pilates. I guess that's true. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Astropro for sponsoring this episode and for providing us with free samples. Okay, I used to have the worst allergies and I would absolutely dread the changing seasons because I knew my allergies would act up and I was just like miserable and there would be weeks where I just didn't feel like myself and I definitely didn't sound like myself. I was so congested and then I like listen back to the podcast or see clips of myself and I'm like, wow, my allergies were pretty terrible. You could just hear how stuffy I felt. And at first I didn't even realize it was allergies and then when I did, I was like, this makes complete sense and I need to do something about it. And then I found AstroPro and I use it every time my nasal allergies flare up. And I'm always amazed how fast I am back in the game. Shout out to AstroPro for sponsoring this episode and for providing us with free samples. I love free samples. AstroPro is a first of its kind nasal allergy spray. It is the fastest 24 hour over the counter allergy spray. It starts working in 30 minutes while other allergy sprays take hours. AstroPro is the first and only 24 hour steroid free allergy spray. AstroPro delivers full prescription strength indoor and outdoor allergy relief from nasal congestion, runny and itchy nose, and sneezing. It's just so helpful. It's the best. Get fast acting nasal allergy symptom relief with AstroPro. Go to AstroProAllergy.com for a discount so you can AstroPro and go today. A-S-T-E-P-R-O Allergy.com. AstroPro and go. Use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Well, listen, I think you could totally run a marathon. Thank you. One day, I'm sure I, when I actually have a conversation with Cody, I'll ask him about it. I'm going to make sure that that happens next time. Maybe <laughs> I haven't been facilitating well enough. No, like I'm not kidding you. I, in my head, I'm like, oh, like I don't want to get to know him well because I, it's just fun, wa- more fun watching. Yeah. They always say never meet your, never hero. meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't be disappointing. I promise. Someone did say that, though, once you were at ACL and... Like they came up. I don't even think they were talking to me. Like I was just kind of standing there, but they came up to Cody and they were like, can I get a picture with you? They talked for a second and they were chatting. It was like a very normal conversation. Mm-hmm, and then at the end she goes, well, you know what they say? Never meet your heroes. <gasps> and she walked away and we were like, <laughs> he was like, that was the meanest thing anyone's ever said. And he was like, was I mean? Well, also, like what happened? Nice. No, I know. But he like looked at me and he was like, was that a weird conversation? I was like, I thought that was like, I thought that was on the grand scheme of things, one of the most normal conversations I've yeah, seen. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Maybe she said it as a joke. Maybe, and it just... Didn't land. Didn't land, perhaps. Let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're moving forward We're moving with that. forward with that at this time. <laughs> I actually, I need to get back to your, like, original, original question, which okay. was, what kind of athlete do I see you with? Oh, yes. And that is football. Really? Yeah. Why? I, I don't know. It, it still might be the Rams effect that's happening okay. on my brain. But I do also, I just, I don't know. I feel like it takes a strong, like football's <laughs> tough. You know, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. basketball. There's so many games. Like it's, it's just a little bit different. I feel like football is like, takes a strong minded woman. Well, thank you. And I just feel like you could handle it. I appreciate that. Football and you also, would be my fave. Yes. And I was going to say, you also like know the game. Very well. I love it. I don't know why. I'm not. I'm not trying to be pick me, but I just you love are not it. being a pick me. It's okay. Like a girl can like sports. But I like being a pick it. Me. Yeah, I do too. But did you grow up watching football? Yeah, the same. My family, specifically my dad and brother, are like psychotic about sports. Okay, which like what? What did you grow up watching? Football, basketball were the main sports. college, 
and NFL. Okay, well, who are your Not teams? really the NBA. College, IU. Right. Indiana basketball. Because Indiana's technically Hoosiers. known. Yeah, go Hoosiers. How'd you know that? You know, I just know. Okay, good shit, Kelsey. <laughs> I don't know. Something about like mascots and me resonate has has just always stuck with okay. me Hoosiers. yeah yeah well there's a movie called hoosiers i didn't know that okay there. i just <laughs> i just heard hoosiers once when i was a kid i grew up watching usc stuff and so i would i knew a lot about like collegiate got it sports okay and so yeah love it i grew up going to like all the iu football and basketball games okay my, i grew up in bloomington where iu is right so every game there was my parents had season tickets so i would go and not necessarily because i wanted to it was just like we're going going here as a family right and i feel like now maybe it's just a nostalgic thing or yeah. it's like what i'm familiar with yeah and like i'm in such like a girly world with work and just my life that right going to like a game is just so fun because it's it's casual it's chill i get to i don't know it's something fun. about it i it's love it's comfortable i Super totally comfortable. like i like i said i would i was going to usc football games since i was like a month old until so are I you a big a, usc fan yeah mm -hmm. i i like i mean i didn't go there my mom went there and then i just like i said i just went to every single usc football game mm -hmm. growing up wow until i was in my 20s incredible um, that's when we like we had season tickets, so it's it's like and like this like it's just like a comfort. It's thing also to a me. fun thing to do. Like I think going to a, a game yeah. is one of the best dates ever. Yeah, because you are focusing on something. You're not like across from each other at dinner. Right. You can like you know you can make fun of people. You can like talk about right. the game. There's right, like right, an right. extracurricular a thing going on right. where you're like commenting on it the whole time. Right. And then also like if all else fails, you can run to the restroom, the yes. concession stand. Yes. You can like talk about the cheerleaders. Like there's so much That's to do and think so about. That's true. And it's casual. Like you don't have to wear heels. Like right. you, it's like cute and casual, but you can also look stylish. I don't know. I just think it's like a really good first date or thing That's to do. That's a really good idea. Specifically a basketball game because they're shorter. Yes. Football game's a little long. Yes. Same with a baseball game. And football games are harder to follow. Like you both yeah. kind of have to be more into it. it totally. Whereas so, basketball, it's like just kind of fun can, to watch. And you, yeah. Anyone can kind of watch it. And it's like it's you fun. can get a hot dog. You can get, you can share a drink. Like whatever. It's cute. Right. Have, have you been on like a first date? I don't know that I've been on a first date, but I've been on a few sports and they've been successes. Yeah. Well, mainly also because I'll tell my brother beforehand, I'm like, hey, I'm going to a Dodger game. Like, what's the tea on the players? And he oh, tells me, like, this person's good. Hell. Make this. Yeah. Make this joke. Right. He'll like give me. Really? Yes. He'll be like, this person's good. You should tell him A, B and C. OK. All the time. Like if I'm texting a guy I have a crush on and he's like, oh, like my favorite team is the Seahawks. I'll immediately text my brother and I'm like. Who on the Seahawks do I need to know? Really? Yes. And my brother will be like A, B, and C. And then I'll act like I knew that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a good brother. Yeah. Your little wingman. Best. And all the time he'll ask me random like girly pop questions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like, kind of perfect. He's like, what's that lip gloss you like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's oh the God. egg sponge thing <laughs> called? Um, I love that. But yeah, I think it's it's a fun First date. But I guess going back to your original question, I also, for the NFL, I love the Indianapolis Colts. Okay. So I'm a Colts fan. But now that I live in LA, I'm like a Lakers fan. Yeah. And I am a Chargers and a Rams fan. Okay. Probably a little bit more of the Chargers. Okay. Well, you could go Chargers also with this with yeah. this fit. It's a little bit of a more darker blue, but, but it, it, it could go either way. Totally. But I also... You know, like I cheer for players. I love Travis Kelsey because our girl Tay. Don't we all. I love Jason Kelsey. The NFL's fun. There's oh, drama. Yes. It's like, when you think about it, it's like Real Housewives. Yeah, like, it's true. Mm -hmm. All the girls can get into it. And I feel like it's been proven now that we all are into it or are. Yeah. Now yeah. that we are all into it because of Tay. Because of Tay. Mm -hmm. But like, <laughs> let's talk about the Kelsey brothers for just a quick second. Who's your fave? Such a good question. I am. It's tough. It's like Travis is, I mean, so cute. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about him. I like literally am so embarrassing. Like, okay. And also I've talked about this before on, on a solo episode, but like I was into them before Taylor, before the Taylor of it all. 
Same. I was a New Heights girly. Shut up. See, this is like, that's the same energy as me watching Cody Trains. Like, why are you watching New Heights? Right. No, I know. It was because when they were playing each other in the Super Bowl, then I got really into it. I was like, I love the brothers. I love that. I love the mom. Incredible storyline. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love a good storyline. And it was the perfect storyline. You know? How obsessed are you with Jason's kids? I mean, they're so cute. And like his wife is beautiful. Like, I just love... They just seem like normal people. So normal. So I've always thought he was cute. And then when the whole Taylor thing came into play, it was kind of just like, just kind of like a mind explosion Mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. But having players that you actually enjoy watching make football so much more fun. So much more fun. I went to a Chargers game like last year Mm -hmm. before the Super Bowl. So I didn't really like, wasn't too into it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, it was obviously fun. It's a game. Like, I just think going to a sports game is fun. But, like, this year I went again to a Chargers game, and I was like, I feel like I know these guys. Who did the Chargers play when you went? They played the uh, Broncos, I think. Okay. I I'm think. trying to think of, like, fun players on, well, Sierra's husband. Oh, my God. Maybe they didn't play them because I feel like I would have <laughs> known Russ known. was out there. Russ. No, I don't know. But maybe it wasn't. The, maybe it was the Bears. Justin Fields is their quarterback. Okay. He misses Fields cookies like that kind of vibe. <laughs> I don't know anything sure, about him. Sure. Yeah, okay. So the Bears, unfortunately, suck. Yeah. It, it, I think it was the Bears, actually, yeah. because I because yes, because bears are my favorite animal. Okay. And I made a joke. <laughs> it, it This is all besides the point, but I'm pretty positive it was the Bears. Why are bears your favorite animal? They just always really resonated with me. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite animal? Dolphins. Interesting. So I'm kind of a doll. Like I'm a kind of a doll fan. <laughs> dolphins. <laughs> yeah, my friends and I. Are have you a, a group Miami chat. Dolphins fan? Well, yeah. I like. I'm. I'm a doll. It's a doll. Is that what they're called? <laughs> that's what we call ourselves. The dolls. Like if you're a Dolphins fan, you're, you're a doll. They're the dolls. Wait, that's really cute. Yeah. So my friend Emily and I. Well, it's a group of us. Emily started it. There's a group chat we have. Okay. Called Hot Girls X NFL. Okay, love that. And we're all like fake dolphins fans. <laughs> <laughs> and we call ourselves the dolls that's so cute but it's it's like real it is real but it right. started out as a joke right. and now we're like wait the dolls kind of slap and now they're on hard knocks so we are we're constantly talking about and we're talking we're talking about the dolls taylor and travis like yeah, yeah, yeah. alex and braxton right, right obviously right. and she's obviously a doll yeah um and i live for her wag content love it and in the group chat, it's so funny because everyone who's been added to it adds their friends who are into football. Okay. So it's like all these numbers I don't know. That's but we're all talking about so fun. hot girl NFL things. It's so fun to see the worlds collide. Yeah. And now the group chat makes it even more fun. It feels right. like my own little fantasy team. Right. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Do you do you do fantasy? You know what? Surprisingly, I don't. I can't actually understand it, like, to save my life. Mainly because I feel like I don't have a great group to do it with. Maybe I'll do, like, a girly one next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the funniest thing about fantasy is what the loser has to do. Have you heard about this? Yes. Okay, so does anyone in your life do fantasy? Yes, Cody. Okay. And his friends. What is the punishment for the loser this year? Last year, I don't know this year. I'm not sure what this year's is. I know last year's was like the loser had to go do like stand up somewhere. Oh my God. (laughs) Okay. Like had to like go to a comedy club and like get on stage and do it. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm so nervous thinking about it. I'm not sure that he ever did, but the thought of that alone makes me Terrifies me. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what this year's is. What's like a craziest one you've heard? So... This isn't the craziest I've heard, but my brother, his fantasy team is all of his fraternity brothers. Okay. And whoever loses has to go travel to the city that they choose, which is going to be like not the most exciting city. It's the city that the other guys choose. Yeah. So it's going to it's going to give like Idaho, North Dakota, Minnesota vibes. Just like a city, you know, you wouldn't want to go Two for vacation, maybe. Okay. So Minnesota, justice for Minnesota. Justice for Minnesota. Love it. Love it there. Love it there. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, they have to go to, they haven't decided the place yet, but let's say it's Idaho or Iowa or something. Sorry if you live there. Love. Love you. So anyway, they have to go to one of those cities and they have to stay there, pay for their trip, 
stay there for a whole weekend and vlog the entire weekend <laughs> and post it. Oh my god, that's kind of fun. It's so cute. That I'm like, I can't cute. wait to watch the vlog. That sounds like a fun. That sounds kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, but like, think about it. It's. I mean, it's gonna be miserable. Like, it's fun for us because like we get to watch. Well, and also like vlogging is just like part of our life. I feel like true. So it's like, oh, that would actually be a fun idea. Mm -hmm. But like for someone who like isn't used to being like them editing. (laughs) Oh, my God. I was thinking about me editing for the first time. I'm like, no. So maybe when the vlog comes out, I'll send it to you if you want to watch. Oh, I do. Definitely (laughs) want to watch. We can tell the circlers. Yeah. All of a sudden get like 60,000. Yeah. And then they just start vlogging. Become a YouTuber. (laughs) Yeah. That's. That's perfect. Yeah. But I've heard of some crazy ones. Yeah. I've seen like, I've seen like friends of friends like tagged and stuff being like, here, he was loser. He's like mm-hmm. wearing like a funny outfit or something like that. Last year, I think the loser of my brother's fantasy team had to eat like 250 tacos from Taco Bell in like 24 hours or something oh, just God. disgusting. That's, yeah. Like, seems- I love Taco Bell, but that's a lot. Me too. What, what do you get? I get a cheesy gordita crunch, so good. but with beans instead of with, instead of meat. Are you vegetarian? No, I just am really picky. Okay. And at Taco Bell, you can like sub the beans, mm-hmm. sub beans for meat with any of their like menu items. And it's really good. I love Taco Bell. What do you get? I am obsessed with the Crunchwrap Supreme. Okay. However, I recently discovered the Chalupa. Oh my god! A I classic. don't know. I don't know how I didn't know about this. Amazing stuff happening in the Chalupa world at Taco Bell, and the five layer burrito is out of this yeah, world. Yeah, it's not talked about enough. No, now I'm I'm amped up. We should have ordered it. We should have. <laughs> I need Taco Bell now. It's like yeah. it's it's the best. This actually reminds me. We someone called in and asked us like was like telling about how they were a camp counselor and they had like three icebreaker questions that they would ask everyone. Mm -hmm. And one of them, I can ask you the three of them. Please. But the first one was like, what's your go-to fast food order? Oh, order. Yes. And like, they didn't specify which restaurant. Got it. So I know what you're into at Taco Bell. What's your like, what's your go-to fast food just in general? Well, I love pizza. Okay. So if, which isn't technically fast food. If I could, if I'm ordering something and I'm at home, I'm ordering pizza and okay. I want something from where? Well, in LA, I love Purgatory and okay. Pizzana. It's a new place. Pizzana's good. So good. So you're you're getting like actual good pizza. Yeah, I kind of like a bougie pizza. Okay, but there's no such thing as bad pizza. I just have to say. I that. mean, I agree. And fast food, it's got to be Chick Fil A. Okay, probably like an eight piece nugget with Chick Fil A sauce. Waffle fry, lemonade. Ooh, oh my god, that sounds so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you don't do, you don't or do Taco s- Bell. a sandwich. No. Okay, it's between honestly Chick Fil A and Taco Bell. Yeah, I mean, what about you? What's yours? I would say probably Taco Bell, and I'd get a cheesy gordita crunch with beans, no meat. But I do, I do love Chick Fil A as well. I don't, I love all fast food. I really do. Mm-hmm. I like. It's such a little treat. It's also just so cheap. Yeah, that is so true. I love the price. You know what I do fucking love is El Pollo Loco. Oh. And it gets no love. Yeah, see, I didn't grow up with that. It is amazing. Okay. It I If you get a BRC, bean rice cheese burrito, delicious, good quality, cheap when i was teaching that was like my splurge it was like two dollars and i was like i'm splurging on a brc today hell yeah and it was the best so i highly recommend that if there's an el pollo loco by any of you go try it out i'm influenced we should do a mukbang oh i would love nothing more okay truly i'll be hitting you up once the baby is out i would really love that Mm -hmm. yes today's podcast is sponsored by squarespace if you're listening and you have a dream You have a desire to start a brand. You have a desire to sell a product, post content, whatever your dream is that you're holding on to. I want you to just go for it. Okay. I want my circlers to grab life by the reins and go for it because my life completely changed for the better. When I put myself out there online, I could not have even dreamt up my life turning out the way it has. And that's all thanks to putting myself out there because you never really know where putting yourself out there will take you in life. And I know all you circlers are doing great things out there. 
And if you're ready to step out of your comfort zone, but you still feel a little stuck or you need a helping hand, I totally get it. I have absolutely been there and I have the perfect solution. Today's podcast is sponsored by a service I love that was so helpful when I was starting out, which is Squarespace. They are very beginner friendly and easy to use. I truly like if I can figure it out, anyone can. Whether you're looking to sell a product, post content, grow a brand, Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Squarespace makes it easy for you if you are just starting out with features like the flexible website templates, with designs for any category you can think of that you can customize and update. My personal few favorite features I've mentioned before, the video collection, the asset library, and the custom merch. Okay, so the video collection allows me to organize my video content easily. The asset library lets me upload, organize, and access all my content in one place. So things are just organized and right there, easy for me to grab. And custom merch allows me to easily sell my merch to my audience They really just make it so simple to create a beautiful website for any endeavor you are starting. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash circle time to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, the second question is if you could have any liquid come out of your finger, like to have on tap all the time. Oh, okay. (laughs) Basically. Yeah, I know. That was, I feel like I said it weird. I feel like I might have phrased it weird, but okay. what would it be? Well, I immediately thought of blue Gatorade. Okay. Because I was thinking of like the nipple top, and I just love that thing so Ooh, much. Ooh, okay. But like, I yeah. don't know. Maybe that would be nice, but, but like you, liquid. Yeah, but any like, liquid? Yeah, like what? Yeah. I don't want to be boring and say water. I mean, there's no boring answer. It's whatever is like in your heart. Like, what's your favorite drink? (sighs) It's tough. (sighs) Maybe right now, Poppy. I Uh, love a little slut for Poppy. Yeah, I know. Same. I love the root beer. I love the Doc Pop. I love the orange. Okay. (laughs) You're an orange girly? I am an orange girl. Okay. I like the cranberry. No, why did you like laugh and say, oh, you're an orange girl? You're an orange girl. No, my brother's an orange girly. I could feel that. Yeah. Yeah. He's an orange girl. I like the orange. It's just not like my favorite. I'm not an orange girly to begin with. I'm not a big fan of the color. Oh. Not a big fan. I like the fruit, like orange flavored stuff. I'm not a big fan of. Okay. I do. I love citrusy kind of flavor. Do you like the orange flavored Starburst the best? There's no orange Starburst. <laughs> there isn't? <laughs> There's pink, red, yellow. Orange. Orange? Right? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so, so sorry. You that gaslighting I, me? No, I did. No, I actually There's no did. orange Starburst. I can't even believe. And with the, I came at you with that. I said, oh, there's actually not that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know like why I was so c- No, it was so There's actually red, pink, yellow. <laughs> so sorry. It's I actually, don't know what Maybe you're thinking of the Reds pack. It wasn't. I I was just being a bitch. <laughs> no, you were so confident. I was questioning myself. Yeah, well, I was a little too confident, so obviously. I'm, I'm assuming now from that answer you like the pink probably. No, I like the yellow. Whoa. Pink is like too fruity. Okay. Like pink and red fall into the fruity category. Mhm. And then yellow and orange are the citrusy in Starburst. Yeah, I like fruity. Right. Yeah, because and so what do you said you like the cranberry? um, Love. It's really good. Yeah, I would say maybe like root beer poppy. Okay. Or something. What would coming out of your finger? Mm -hmm. Well, I okay. I did. I did say pee. Pee? (laughs) Come on, let me just explain. Because I am in currently. I need to pee constantly. So you wish it could just... Oh. And I wish that I could just like quickly pee instead of like having to go to a bathroom, take down my pants, do the whole thing, sit down, stand up, blah, blah, blah. If I could just like subtly pee, like right now, for example, I have to pee. Yeah. I'm going to be completely transparent here with you. And thank you for being so real at this time. You're so welcome. <laughs> if I could just like have a little cup back here that I'm just peeing in <laughs> and you don't even know and I'm, oops, done peeing. That would be crazy. That would you could be wear a jumpsuit amazing. every day um, it, and never have to be naked exactly. in a bathroom stall. Yes, because that's always a humbling thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's <laughs> one of the humbling. worst 
one of the worst. I like, love when there's like big cracks in the stall too, and everyone's just like, <laughs> "What is that girl naked in there?" Like when you have to go to a bathroom, especially when you're like kind of drunk. Oh yeah, and you're and in just and you're in a one piece, mm-hmm. and you're trying not to sit on the toilet seat, mm-hmm. but but you're also you know your boobs are fully out because <laughs> you're probably not Honestly, wearing a bra. I, love it. I hate I hate every second of it. You don't love it? I, I, yeah. I thought you would love it's it being so, pregnant. Doing oh that. my God. I can't even. Me in my bump suit, <laughs> trying also then the be- the belly's out. The belly and the boobs. Every single piece of me. I mean, the belly's out now yeah. just constantly. But anyway, the third question. Oh, if you were a mermaid, oh, love this question. What would you want your tail to look like? What would I want the tail to look like? Yeah. Like, what would your mermaid outfit be Mm, i really like what aquamarine has going on okay can you remind us of that aqua blue okay and like silver but i'm also kind of did you ever read rainbow fish yes i wouldn't mind a little rainbow scale okay love that and then i would definitely need aqua blue extensions in my hair okay and now along with the blonde or along with the blonde okay so blonde hair with aqua blue extensions. Got Streaky it. like Christina Aguilera. Love. Yes. Dirty era. Yeah. Yes. It's too dirty to clean my act up. Exactly. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, I would honestly. I would maybe need like two little braids right here. Okay. Aquamarine or blonde? Um, Mixed. Yes. Like, yeah. Mixed. Right. Aqua and blonde. Yes. And then I would need aqua sparkly eyeshadow. Right. And starfish as earrings. As a la aquamarine. And maybe they're like orange, even though I was just shitting on the color orange. Yeah, you were. Yeah. So you would do orange, really? I I think I would because teal and orange looks good together. They do. Mm -hmm. And then I would absolutely have no top. Titties out. Titties out. Yeah. Really? So you'd be romper bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) In your thing. Yeah. You would be boobs out as a mermaid. Yeah. Who's who doesn't have their boobs out as a mermaid? I guess I would just be like a little bit. I would. What would you have shells? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, would you have like glittery nipples or anything? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Maybe I would be peeing out of my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Now you're speaking my language. Mm-hmm. Definitely silver, like shiny. Okay, you're a silver gal. No, I'm actually a gold gal, but I feel like the silver just looks better with the aqua. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Is, is blue is blue your favorite color? It's one of my favorite colors. Like that family? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I could you it, it looks really good on you. So like Thank it you. feels like that should be. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is also blue. Okay. You look great in blue as well. Oh. And you have really pretty bl- blue eyes. Well, so do you. Thanks. Thank you. I I used to think when I was younger, I used to think that your favorite color was what your eye color was. <laughs> so you were like, your favorite color can't be red. <laughs> no, I was like, there's like three options for people's favorite. I was like, my favorite color is blue because my eyes are blue. Mm-hmm. So might as well just made sense to me. Okay. I was a simple gal, apparently. And then it kind of just stuck. Now it's blue and red. Oh my gosh, mine are blue and red. My really? favorite. Yeah, well, I yeah, I love the red. Yeah, just- I love red as well. It's a great color. It's having a moment. And I feel like it's, I know, I feel like it's underrated, especially for women. Yeah. Like it's an underrated color that women don't talk about. It's like a bold, it's bold. bold. And I think it's like every time I feel red or wear red, I feel like I'm doing something. Yeah. yeah, I feel confident. I feel like a boss ass bitch. Yeah. Same. Mm -hmm. I would, I, that makes sense. And you also look really good in red lipstick. Thank you. Do you ever wear a red lip? I feel like you would look (sighs) fab with your slick back. Fun. Thank you. I used to, I, I, I dabbled in like colored lip. Okay. What color? <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't like bright red, but it was like corally oh, kind of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was cuter than it sounds, but not fully cute. Like I'm not saying it was like 100% was cute. This is a just- Kylie lip kit. I actually never owned a Kylie. Neither did kit. I. I just bought it. Bought really? One. You know, I just ordered from Kylie Cosmetics. She's back. She's back. She. I was watching. She, maybe it's because she looks so 
damn good she lately. Looks so good. But I was looking at her TikTok. She was like putting some fucking blush on with her finger yeah. and then putting it on her lips also. And I was like, and I was like, yeah, I think no, I I'm need doing that. that. Was it I'm, the glow bomb? I think it might have been the glow bomb. I got the glow bomb. Uh, she influenced me so hard mm -hmm. and she didn't have to say a single damn thing. I'm sick and obsessed. And it's, I think actually it should be in my <laughs> mailbox. I need a glow bomb review. No, and you. I'll do one <laughs> for you specifically. Please. I want a shout out. I will do one because it's like for the cheeks and the lips. Yeah. But see, th when I put stuff on my lips, it brings me back to when I would do the coral lip. Okay. Which wasn't, um, what was my best look? I was 20, it was 2016-ish. I was like, you know, 20. We were experimenting with makeup at that time. Yes. I was 22. Um, okay. Perhaps. And it was just me and my friend living in Los Feliz. And she always like looked really good in colored lips. Mm -hmm. So Sometimes I'd be like, hey, can I have some of that? I love that. And then I would do it. And I look back and maybe I shouldn't have dabbled. How would I how would I know? But how would you know what you look good in now if you right. didn't experiment right. with the coral lip? But I would love to try a red lip again one time. Please. I think you would look great with a slick back bun. Thanks. Why haven't I seen a slick back bun tutorial from you on TikTok yet? <laughs> well, because I get a little nervous to post on TikTok. OK. You know, how my drafts are just so, so good. <laughs> are they? I would love to see. Them. Yeah. Maybe I'll show you. They're funny. They're okay. fun. Won't post them. Won't. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I have been trying to dabble in TikTok recently. Uh -huh. Like you're really good at TikTok. Thank you. I like How it. How are you so good at it? I wouldn't say I'm so good at it, but I I'm think trying. You are. I'm trying. Honestly, practice. And getting them out there. Actually posting. Yeah, like getting yeah. them out there and seeing what performs well and what flops because then that helps me decide what I should film next. Right. What do you, what's like your favorite thing to film? Honestly, I love filming lip videos okay so i love filming like testing lip products yeah. or like trying different reds i love doing those because right. that's just super fun and they're super easy yeah and you're good at it and it's like thank you it's fun to it look, looks good on you too it's like fun to watch thank in general you. it's fun because i've never really gotten that into beauty on my youtube channel yeah and I didn't realize how much I enjoy it because I wouldn't consider myself a beauty guru at all. But like right. I know my shit when it comes to lip products. Right. So it's been a fun outlet. That's fun. But I recently have really been into some mommies on TikTok that film like their day in the lives. Me too. And I wonder if we watch the same people. We and probably do. They set up their tripod and it's like they walk from the kitchen to their kid's room and they film that. And I have tried to do a few of those and they don't perform well for me, but I'm okay. trying. Yeah. But those are fun because I'm like, this is a new way to like vlog. Right. I have filmed like a day in my life on TikTok before. Is it in the drafts? It's in the drafts. Oh, Kelsey, I got to see it. I know. I just get it. I just. Then what are I'm you like, gatekeeping? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I because I'm scared. I'm nervous. Like, I don't why? know why I'm so nervous because then I, I'm like used to YouTube, you know, like I've done a slick back bun tutorial on YouTube. OK, shoot. Not go. specifically. It's like it, you'd have to like dig through a okay. vlog to find it. But like the circlers want to see your day in life on TikTok, though. I know. And I want to give it to them. Mm -hmm. I want to do it for the circlers. Maybe mm -hmm. that's what I should do it for, you know, and you. Do it for the circlers. I also on TikTok, I really do love making like a little music video <laughs> Ooh. with like a song, getting okay. my friends. I like doing the because I'm good at no, being behind the yes. camera. I did one of those one time <laughs> to um, potential breakup song. Oh, OK. And I posted it. How did it do? It was it did it performed well, I would say. And I loved every second. Maybe of we it. should film one in the stew. It was just me. Maybe it was just you. it was literally just me. And it was Cody. Like you could see him like in the reflection of the window. <laughs> like, like, it was just us, like, like by ourselves. And he'd be like, no, do it again. Sorry. Yeah. Do it again. Like he was like into it. I was into it. And like we were having a good it's time. Fun and it's funny. Yes. Yeah. I do think I, I think I was like a glass of wine in. Perfect. Which helped. And so for like a little bit now, I haven't been able to like have that like liquid confidence uh -huh. to post on TikTok, but I'll get back into it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of looking forward to it also. Yeah. Because I think it's a good little tester. Like, have you, have you, like you should, I think it'd be fun to do like a mini vlog and then be like to see the full thing, like go to my YouTube and watch like this in detail. Okay. I would, I love that we're talking about this because I 
<clears throat> love that idea. Yeah. I've never done it in the way that I picture filming it. I've only done it where I filmed a YouTube video and then I cut it into a TikTok. Okay. And like made it the TikTok, you know, dimensions and okay. put it on. But that never performs well. Yeah. It you needs have to, to be like do more. Both, yeah. Which is like so annoying because it's not like I'm like planning out every right. shot of my vlog. Right. But I'm sure it would perform way better if I did. Yeah. I think I think that's like the trick to TikTok is that people like when it looks like it's just actually coming from you then and yeah. not like a produced video. Whereas YouTube, like while it's still like coming from you, it's the same thing, but like taking it from a YouTube video just seems like not like you're right there in it with the rest of the TikTokers. And it just doesn't seem fair. Like I feel like, oh, like uh, a bunch of people probably already saw this. Right, 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 right. Right. Thing. Yeah, I know. I do want to get into like the day in the life vlogs because I just love watching them so Me much. Me too. Mm -hmm. I really do. And I, I love the runner stuff. I am not so much on the runner TikTok. Mm -hmm. I do watch one girl in New York who's like, would you run? I'll buy you a pair of shoes. Wait, I think I know who that is. She's like, if you run six miles with me, I'll buy you any shoes you yes, want. I've seen yeah. that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those. OK, but I'm like, how do you guys do it? Because mm -hmm. I would say I'm OK. Who are your favorite TikTokers? Uh, my favorite TikTokers, probably all the, the mom vloggers I watch right now. Okay. Which mom vloggers are you watching? I'm watching they're, the ones in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Emily and Avery, Avery. obviously. <laughs> I'm watching them. Oh, yeah. Kelsey, I'm, I'm in, in love. I'm in it. Oh, I'm sick and obsessed. Yeah, I'm in it and I'm watching every second of it mm -hmm. and- it makes me want like Dr. Pepper, Trigg, Stevie, yeah. Lately. There's their kids. It's it's a whole oh, thing. What's her son's name? What's Avery's son's Ziggy. name? Ziggy. Ziggy, duh. See, but also it's like, uh, why do I know so much about these people's kids? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to show your kid? No. Yeah, I'm not going to either. I will not be doing that. And like it's, and this, I think it's really like to each their own whatever decision you're making for your family, I think is the right decision. Like, I feel like a lot of times it's like moms coming for other moms. And I just will never understand that. Yeah. It's a really weird because I'm like, we should all be like sticking together because mm -hmm. it's so fucking weird to be a mom. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, whatever decision anyone is making to put their kids online to not like, I'm not going to be upset about that. Like, it's like they're what they're choosing for their family. And totally. like that, I am not part of their family. Mm -hmm. I'm not making their decisions for that. I know it's going to work for me and it's not, it's going to be not mm -hmm. showing my son. Mm -hmm. Well, also another thing, not that I agree or disagree with their decision or right, your, right. your decision, but they, you already have this audience. So it's a lot weirder when you bring in a child to like an audience you've already built for you. Right. Whereas they kind of built an audience around. Yeah. I would I would hope and assume their audience is mainly like girlies like us watching who like totally, are aspiring like to have a family like yes, that. Yes. Of course, there's creepy and weird people on the Internet. But I think their audience is mostly a safe I agree. space. I hope. I totally agree. I think it it's your. I mean, so, I'm watching all their content. Right. Me too. I can't get enough. I'm eating mm -hmm. it up. Yeah. Truly. I need to go to that swig. We need to go to swig. We need to go to trip. swig. Road trip to Swig to get a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, to get to get a Dr. Pepper because they're just they're apparently they're different. Errands. Yeah. Do yes. you notice that when they start every errands vlog in the car, they're always either putting on what lip gloss or hand sanitizer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know it's a what? Formula. I'm down. Like oh, I'm, I'm like obsessed. I need I need a car. I need to make like a car kit for myself. <laughs> I'm so into it. I need to order 32 Touchland hand sanitizers. I need a Touchland. Like, I need it. Yeah. You know? I like watching people do day-to-day -day stuff. Like, those are, Me have too. always been my favorite kind of things. Those Normal. have been my favorite kind of videos. That's why I wanted to make vlogs. Like, I, I just love seeing people live their lives. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. And I know it's not for everyone. Like, sometimes Cody's like, how do you watch so many vlogs? Like, why do you watch what people are doing a day yeah. in their life? And I'm like, I don't know. Something about it is just comforting to me. So anyone who does that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. I just love a day in my life. And I, I especially like, and it makes me want to make them. Yeah, me too. And it inspires so, me. Yes. And so that's been an inspiration is just seeing 
that people like them Mm -hmm. on other people. So I'm like, I could try for myself. I'm also realizing specifically with those two, I love the consistency. Yes. As far as like, they basically do like four different types of videos. Yeah. It's like the car errands one. Right. The dancing with their kids to a funny sound. Okay. The um, get ready with me. Right. And then like day a in blog, my life. Day yeah. In life. Yeah. And they all start basically the same. Right. But I, th- I think I crave the consistency. Like if they randomly did another video, not that I wouldn't watch it, but like I love those four videos. Right. That they do. I know it's true. But then it's, I don't but do it's, that enough. But it's tricky as a like on the other side of it as a creator, because you want to like expand your you probably get sick. Like I know there are times when I'm like, I would rather make a sit down video like I've made a lot of vlogs. Yeah. And so I want to kind of switch it up. But then people are like, why are you switching it up? But it's like, cause I don't know, I'm kind of bored and like, I want to try yeah. something new and like, there's so much room to grow. So it's tough. See, I think I change up. I'm trying too many different things. If I just stuck to like a format of yeah, four, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just have a new, that's my new theory right now, specifically with watching those two. And I really like both of them right now. I like that theory. I think you, you get in, you have your niche mm-hmm. and then people like you. And then you can expand. And then you can expand, mm-hmm. you know? That's very true. I think that's the formula. I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. not good at TikTok, which is why I'm, I don't post very often. Mm-hmm. But I like it when I do. I would love to see you post more. Well, maybe I will just for you and for the circulars. For the circulars. Mm-hmm. And I want to see you do more day in the lives. Okay. Period. I'll do one tomorrow, maybe. Oh, my God. Okay. Can I ask you an icebreaker question? Yes. Okay. So this is one of my new favorite questions. My friend Lexi Lombard told okay. me. Do you know Lexi? I don't think we've ever met. She I should come on the pod. Is. Yeah. She's amazing. Okay. So the question is, if you're going on a road trip and you're driving and you have three seats open, one in the front, three in the back, who would be in your car, dead or alive? I have like a realistic answer for this. Okay. And then I have like a celebrity answer for this, I feel. Okay. I want to know the celebrity answer. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you first my realistic okay. answer, Cody, Cody, and then my mom, my dad, my brother. Cute. <laughs> That's, that'd be who I'm riding with, you okay. know? celebrity answer Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift would be in the front seat with me duh is Travis there no (laughs) sorry is Cody no because he's real life he's not a celebrity yeah but would you not want him to meet Tay no like what would he do sit there while we talk we need some time just with us okay I feel like he would be interested (laughs) by her like stamina <laughs> I just the, he would he would but the thing is it's like I know Cody is he's my husband like I can't they're like no chiming in this is my time yeah I'm, I'm that's taking up a seat in my car filled with celebrities okay who else Michelle Obama that's a good one so many questions yeah what would you ask her what was it like living in there mm-hmm. arm routine she's great arms arm routine <laughs> and also like how has it been after and like, I, I just want to, I just like want, I just love her a lot. And mm-hmm. so I would like, just love to talk to her. Mm-hmm. She's awesome. Yeah. So Michelle's, Michelle's riding in the back. I'm actually going to pop in. I kind of want like Harry Styles. Whoa. Yeah. Because there's history with Taylor. Yeah. And, and I don't want her to be uncomfortable. So like if mm-hmm. she was like, hey, I really would appreciate if you didn't invite my ex. Then well, I would. he could be in the back corner. She could be the front. Exactly. They're yeah. never going to really cross paths. But like, I'm hoping that like I say something and then all of a sudden they're like, well, what about that time? They start fighting. Oh, OK. So you would want to figure out exactly what happened there because mm-hmm. I'm actually so curious about that. OK. And then in the middle, I would just say like probably my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> because like she would be like so entertaining. Does, is she fully aware of like t- your love for Taylor? Is she and- she passed away. Oh, she, she probably is. Okay. Well, and I've been obsessed with Taylor Swift like my whole life. Okay, so, so she yes, would get she, the hype. She would understand. She, it's not a new thing, and she only she only died a couple years ago, so she knows how much I love Taylor That's Swift. Really so I guess, cute. Wait, Ryan Seacrest, where would he go? <laughs> Ryan Seacrest or Grandma? <laughs> oh my God, do not make me choose. <laughs> Ryan can go in the trunk. Okay. I might switch out Ryan for Harry. Are you a big Ryan Seacrest fan? Yes. I mean, who isn't? But I mean, he does everything. He's a man of so many talents. Yeah. And he is the hardest working man in America. He is rolling in the dough. Yeah. Rightfully so. Yeah. I'm going to actually swap out Harry for Ryan Seacrest. Okay. 
Because maybe we don't grandma, need the drama. Michelle, Tay. Taylor Swift, Ryan Seacrest, my grandma, and Michelle. And Michelle, obviously. I love this. That was that was that was beautiful. Who was who's in yours? <sighs> Chris Jenner. Oh my god, such a good one. Such a Definitely good one. Definitely Chris. Yeah. Taylor Swift. Yeah. And that is a that is a great conversation, just there, them two. I would love to unpack that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I would put Chris in the front because she's just a little older and needs, you know, more it's room respect for, for her, her legs. Respect yeah, for your elders. That's yeah. sweet of you. I'm shoving my grandma on the back. <laughs> Sorry. Taylor. Maybe like Kobe Bryant. It's a really good one as well. Or like Serena Williams. Okay, uh, definitely really an app. One. I, yeah. I love like an, maybe Kobe. Okay. I'd probably do him. Yeah. Or like Michael Jordan. I think I'm more of Kobe though. Yeah. I think he would have more to say, more life lessons. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe Reese Witherspoon. I'm obsessed Ooh. with Reese Witherspoon. I like want to be her. Really? So. so that would be a really good one. Yeah. I love Reese just because here's the thing about Reese that I love is she in my eyes is like the perfect type of celebrity. Yeah. Because she's respected by everyone right and people recognize her but it's not like justin bieber totally where you like she actually can't go somewhere like people are like right. holy shit that's reese witherspoon right but people aren't chasing her yes. finding her hotel at least i hope not right you know yeah and she's so just like effortlessly cool and classy yeah totally and i love that she has She's like in front of the camera, but she's also behind the camera. She's doing a lot of work for yes, women in for the entertainment sure. industry. Yes, yes. She also has a family and kids right. and like, I don't know. I just, I love her. I do love her as well. That's mm -hmm. a really great car. Thank you. You guys could like really just get into some great conversations. Reese, Kobe, Chris, and Taylor. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Taylor and Reese could talk about Nashville. Of course. Taylor and Chris can talk about Kim, the snakes, Kanye. Right. They could clear the air. Clear the air. Which I would just love so much. I feel like they would clear the air. I think they maybe already have. And like we just don't even know about it. And then Kobe is really good friends with Taylor or was really good friends right, with right, Taylor. Right, 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 right. And I feel like he probably knows Chris. For sure. And then I don't know if Kobe and Reese knew each other. Well, if they didn't know each other then. They were in my car. Yeah. And they obviously hit it off. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. I just, I think that's a good question to ask because normally it's like, who would you go to dinner with? Right. But the car ride's a little different. It's a little more intimate. Mm -hmm. I love that question. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, well, I have one more question for you. Okay. We do a little journal time here. Love. And I have like found this book with just a bunch of questions for a bunch of different dates. So you give me a date and I will ask you the question. They're questions for like kids. So they're pretty simple, but. Any date? Any date. June 25th. That's oh my, my birthday. God. Sorry, I'm like moving around so much because I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> are you okay? Yes. June 25th? Yeah. Your birthday? Mm hmm What are you, a Gemini? Cancer. <gasps> Love cancer girls. What are you? Libra. Oh, Kim K, right? Is it Libra? Balanced? Maybe. Is it the balanced Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. If you could get any kind of dog, you would get a... Golden Retriever. Basic. Oh, uh, no, love that's a, a great retriever. answer. Golden retrievers are the best. Oh my God, you'd be so cute with one. I want you and your two of the ball husband. I really want two of them a boy and a girl. What would you name them? So I always thought I would name <laughs> my dogs who are golden retrievers one Hoosier and one daddy. Okay. Because everyone in IU, if you know, you know, says Hoosier daddy. Oh my like, God, that's wait, a, that's hilarious. So I think it would be funny, especially if I had like a girl dog named Daddy. I right. just think that would be funny. Yeah. But I don't know that I would move forward with that at this time. I'm feeling as though you should. It would be cute and it would be fun. And I think Hoosier is a great name for yeah, a dog. Yeah, it is. But then I was like, for a while, I was like, will I name my dog Indy? Because I'm just like obsessed with my hometown and how I grew up. And as you should be. Whatever. So then I was like, something with Indiana. But I don't actually like the name Indy that much as I like Hoosier. I like Hoosier. And I like Daddy. But the thing is, like, I didn't actually go to IU. So I don't know. I do like dog names that I do like are Disco and Duke. I like those Ooh, names, those too. those are good names. I think Disco is a really cute That's name. That's a really cute name. But love Chili. Oh, my God. Thanks. Me, too. Chili's so cute. He's a good boy. Yeah. Well, TK, thank you so much for joining us. Thank it's you so just much so for having fun me. It's fun and easy to talk to you. So you're Likewise. always welcome. Um, would you like to tell the circlers where they can find you if they don't already know? <laughs> of course, circlers. I love y'all so much. My Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, pretty much everything is at TK's Juicy Pulse. And hope to see you guys soon. Maybe Kelsey will come back on making moves. I would love to. Once she has her baby and she's working again. She, I, would love I can't to. wait to see you be a mom. 
Oh my God. You're going to be the best mom ever. Thanks. It's coming soon. I know. I'm so excited for you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank by you the for way. being here. It's always a pleasure. It really is. We love you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you guys for listening. Love you. See you next Bye. time. Bye. Note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.